And we're back and we're still with Afrobeat super superstar Davido in the building and he's been giving us some information. Some he's been keeping away from like how much he's worth, but <laughs> we're fine. What was your highlight of 2018? What was the biggest thing for you? Remember, I saw your first, your first show at Troxy. It's made event at Troxy. Okay, 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 okay. And that was a sold out event. It was a 3,000 venue mm -hmm. and you were extremely excited on that day. Now, you've had a lot of highs since then. So if you look, look at last year, what was your high for last year? I mean, apart from the BET on the stage, um, a lot. Just kept going down, down, down. It just we did so much. Touring, my show. Lagos in December. Ah. That was something else. Crazy. Were you scared coming down the rope? Yeah. Actually, my idea. Actually, my idea. It was your idea? Yeah. Where did you go? Well, you, you know, coming? like, they were giving me while I didn't want to give me the venue. Okay. For some reason. Oh, yeah. Same thing. We <laughs> but uh, I finally got it. In the last minute, a lot of things worked in the last minute. Yes, because yeah. cause, yeah, last minute it uh, worked out. So I got the venue and I had only 12 days to sell tickets. And I have to set 12 it up as days well. to set up and sell at least 13,000 tickets. Hard copy. At least. Because you know, you still give away. Of course, yeah, day, industry you know? and all of that, yeah. Yeah. So we started it and we actually did it. So we sold about all together. Was it a logistical nightmare? Almost 12k, like 11k, 900k in 12 days. In Lagos? In Lagos. In Lagos. 12 days to prepare everything. 12 days that people had two months to do their stuff. Like, do you understand? So it just showed me that, okay, you know what I'm it's, saying? It it's love. Done. No, it's love. Like, people came mm. out to support, like, it's love. We had other things to, to, to arrange that in 12 days. And our main focus, honestly, has been this O2 show. Yes. Because I almost didn't do a Lagos show because I was like, uh, you know, Can be a distraction. Yeah, I was like, energy. you know what? I'm doing O2, but I was like, you know, I just have to do a show this Christmas. Just in Nigeria, of course. That's, just that's, for that's my crazy. fans. Just has to happen. So, but the main focus on this O2 show. What's your name and where you calling from? Yinka. Uh, Yinka, where are you calling from, Yinka? Um, I'm calling from Barnet. Awesome. Okay, Davido is all yours. Hello. Good evening, Davido. Good evening. Yes. Hello. Good evening. Yes. Good evening. Um, it's not more of a question, though, but it's just more of an encouragement mm -hmm. and a thank you, especially on behalf of your billion or trillion fans. Mm. Um, obviously, you've done so much for the masses, especially back home. Um, and it's just a word of prayer and a word of encouragement for you. And especially thank you. Thank you. Um, there are quite a number of people that you have reached out to, especially in the recent weeks that I have personally read. Um, thank you so much. Uh, God will continue to bless you and uplift Amen. you. Amen. And everything that you do, you would obviously be encouraged and you will be lifted. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. I may not have met you personally, but I just love the fact that you are a giver. Thank you. God bless you and God enrich you. Amen. Do you want to come for the show? Please, you have to come. No, do you want to come for the show? I would love to. David, I'm a ticket, Miji. Yeah. Give out four. Four tickets. Yeah. You've just won four tickets to see the show. Yeah, I'd love to. Uh -huh. So you know what you're going to do? Yeah. Inbox, go to um are you on Instagram? I am. Uh -huh. Go to DJ Abbas on Instagram and Davido official. Send messages to the two. Me, I know I will see it. I will get it over to you. Okay. Is that okay? Okay. Awesome. And Lati is also gingerly in the corner as well. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Let's talk about Lati right now. Because she mentioned two key things yeah. that people you've been helping. What was the story with that guy you... Okay. Gave? I was going to my show, right? On the way to the show, blah, 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 blah. My guy comes. Ah, David. My guy, Chief Priest. Well, he's my close guy. And he, he's... He does this thing like he always has money on him. I told him, I said, ah, Mama, I beg, I beg my show, don't spend this money. I beg. Things will scatter blood. Exactly. Like, you, you know, we're just talking about it. The yes. same way I have fans from 80 years old to kids. Exactly. Your range is wide. I have fans from the richest to, to, the, to the streets. To the streets. So, that kind of show, you don't want any type of crazy movement or, or any yes, interest. And that can go. I told my guy, I said, guy, I don't say every time they perform, when they perform the money, it always comes spring. Today, I beg. No come. But the hype of the everybody was just, you know, everyone was just mm. ginger. He just came, started spraying money on money. Everywhere scattered. I said they were now stepping on people. But there was one boy. 
that was actually helping me. Okay, just to regulate? Regulate the thing. So I gave him one million naira. Then, then and there? Yes. Okay. And then, you just went crazy. Like, you was... Do you know why you're telling someone to calm down? Like, you're even scared to give the person the money, because like, ah, this one would God cannot carry one million naira home this night. It was going crazy. Even after I was doing pouring water on his body, body backstage, the whole time I was finishing the show. Okay. When I finally reached the show, we're going, I, I got my girl, we're going to the bus. He just ran in front of us on the floor. My boss wanted to beat us. I said, no, leave him, leave him, leave him. I carried him in my own personal uh, Ben's car. And left with him. Left with him to the hotel. He had sand everywhere. Yeah. Still denying, the money, give me the money. I said, which car is in? I go, which car is in? I said, look, we don't know if we give this guy this money to do. Can't. Because he's going to lose it. Of course. Okay. Can I give you guys money today? Everybody's phone is dead. To do transfer, talking is not your home. I mean, it's just not today. I, I gave him, it was him I gave and a girl money too. Okay. The girl, responsible. Collect Lati's number. She collected Lati's number. Lati said, call me. Lati being the, the mediator in this, in this particular case. So call Lati's number. Lati said, okay, on Monday. Let's meet up. Let's meet up. Today is what? Saturday. Saturday, you Saturday I think. Or it wasn't even like a money because it was like a Christmas holiday. Yeah, so it could have been any day. It was yeah. the next tomorrow that mm -hmm. we could have gotten any money to anybody. Account wise or safely. The girl answered, she didn't say anything. The next two days we just woke up. It's I don't know where the guy don't go in. <laughs> and you know it's so dumb. The guy probably don't go inside. The guy go down the corner, the corner. The guy said, God come down with a crazy. You know, no, everybody knows where I live in, in Lagos. Everybody knows my house. Just that nobody's joining away with how much. If you're a Christian, calm down. That's the simple thing. I let me tell you something. Guy, when when no no one make that a friend collect that money, go on ginger that. Instigated this thing. Yes, man. Yeah, don't give money. Don't give money. I call at you. I call at you. Guys, just just did that. So when and is Lati? Said, when is Lati going to drop his single now? <laughs> <laughs> so when he did that, I said, you know what? I'm not giving any more money. Cause it doesn't look like somebody that wants the Appreciative money. Appreciative or anything. Yeah. But, but when so did you have to change your the, mind? I mean, I just, after a while, just like, just give me. Too much media pressure? No, me. I don't care media pressure. Okay. I'm big, I have 9.1 million followers. Any blogger right now says, I go post my own work. Do you understand? Me, self, I be blog. Me, I be blog. We'll come to that. Hello, what's your name and where you're calling from? Oh, hello there. My name is Denise, and I'm calling from London. Okay. What's your name and again? I, hold on, hold on. Denise. Hold on. What's your name again? Denise. Denise, okay. Okay, Hi, then. Yeah, go on. The reader, quick question. Yeah. How have you been dealing with the journalist, Kemi, discussing really personal matters about your mom in the public eye? Who? The blogger, Kemi. I don't know. Yes, the blogger. I don't know. So how have, how have you been handling that and dealing with that, with the fact that she's discussing very personal matters in the public eye? He doesn't know the blogger. I don't know her. I don't know her. He doesn't know her. He doesn't know her. Okay. Yes. That was my question. Thank okay. you. Thank Thanks you. So See much. you at the show. Awesome. Nice and sweet. So when is Lati dropping a single? <laughs> no, Lati is not dropping any single. No, Lati is now in the public eye. Oh. Lati even has songs. Now yeah, everybody knows your go-to guy. Your go-to guy now is Lati. Yeah. Lati can be getting hit. Has he been my go-to guy since everybody knows that? He knows how to handle that. Of course. Okay. So we're going into 2019 now. If you look at what you, what 2018 has delivered, and you're starting 2019 with a 20,000 concert, which will sell out. What, what is the plan for 2019? New album? I mean, new grounds to break? If you think about it, I always tell people this. Like, since 2016, how many songs have I dropped? I've dropped a series of songs. All those songs, if you count it now, it's already one album. Indeed. The so album is ready, more or less. So, I mean, it's, it's not about, I've, I've given you guys material, just I haven't compiled it in one okay. compilation or a body of work. Okay. But I think this year I want to, I want to compile a couple songs and drop an album. Okay. Two, um, now, let's, we, we have two minutes to go, so let's talk about the concert right now. It's mm -hmm. happening at a 20,000 capacity. Um, last year, Whiskey sold the show, so sold out the show. And now we have um, another Nigerian artist, mm -hmm. you know, doing a similar thing in the same venue. His show is over 75% sold already we have 10 days to go and we know definitely it's going to pack out what should really what should your fans be expecting on the day man like uk has always been like Home. special to me mm. you know what i'm saying um it's my first arena arena show okay and um it's very special to me my whole family is coming everybody's coming to watch um, i'm going to perform in the whole is the dancing senator coming 
still trying. You know, in this election time, people have to be back home and busy. Now, one day now. In nah, and out. One boom, day boom, is man. one I year. Know, poli boom, 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 politics. Day. I know, I know, I know. But, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, just the full catalog, trust me. Surprises. An amazing show. And to just to show them again mm. that an African can do this. You know, it's not only about doing it once. I'm doing it once. It's about, you know, who did it. I'm going to do it. Somebody else is probably going to do it after me. And just keep doing that. Show them that. You know, and somebody told me today that a lot of UK artists haven't even done that. Of course. Of course. You can, you can check the roster. Mm -hmm. So that tells you where afro busy genre is right now. It's in a good place. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are depending on you as well to help keep flying the flag. I think you're doing a very, very great thing. Proud to have you sitting in front of us here doing this interview for us. I'm looking forward to the show and I wish you the very best in Can't wait. It's going to be amazing. Come see David O, the DMW crew, everybody. Surprise acts. Awesome. It's going to be a big party. Afrobeat superstar Davido is in the building. Watch out for the show on the 27th of January. It's at the O2 Arena. Everyone's talking about it. If you are not there, we are deporting you. That is official. We're going on a break right now. When we come back, we're going to meet our next guest. Stay tuned.